Guys, guys, guess what? So, a couple of days ago, I told you guys that, hey, I'm gonna be getting something in the mail that I'll be doing an unboxing on that you guys are gonna enjoy. <laughs> Anyways, there's that, and there it is. Oh my, so beautiful. Box, oh, look at that. So we'll get to whatever's in the box later, but this is what we want to get to. It feels so amazing. Um, it's been Lobo. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, I'm sure if it was like out of nowhere and stuff, but you know, I just wanted to share this with you guys. Uh, but anyway, it's been Lobo, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you another time. Later. So just by watching that, we can tell how far we've made it in the channel. So it's been quite a couple of years. So that video was actually, how long ago was it? So that video was actually, uh, over two years ago so we've actually come a long way for some reason i was thinking for it but it hasn't been that long but wow 2016 so what i'm getting at here is scuff gaming so scuff gaming is a company that is known for having modded controllers with paddles on the back so the point of the having paddles on the back of your controller here is simply for the fact that you can keep your thumbs on the joysticks that way you don't have to move your thumbs from the joysticks and you can just use the paddles on the back of the controller. That way making your reaction towards your opponent in any other type of game quicker. For example, Call of Duty. We all know to have scuff controllers. Even FIFA has scuff controllers. So scuffs are used for a wide variety of different games from fighters to uh, sports games to shooter games to even regular open world games. Now, how much do these controllers am I going to go for? These controllers the scuff controller now this is just an xbox and this is the scuff impact or the ps4 same concept paddles on the back your joysticks basically you take shortcuts from using the buttons on the front and a regular controller like so for example doesn't have any paddles on the back now normally a regular controller like the ps4 controller that i just showed you the regular one normally goes for around 60 dollars a modified controller by scuff gaming like the scuff impact normally goes from around 120 dollars to even 200 dollars so they're not cheap, they're pretty pricey. So it's something you wanna keep in mind if you ever think about getting a controller like these sometime down the road. Now, as you guys saw in the video, I got my first scuff controller two years ago. So I've honestly gone through two uh, Xbox Scuff Infinity controllers, two of them. The first one broke because it fell. The second one, it just, the buttons, the paddles were dying out. It was just that we, I was using it so much. The buttons were starting to give out. The joysticks were starting to starting to give in. They weren't really responsive. The buttons were not as responsive as I wanted them. So it's kind of typical. You, you want things, things are gonna wear and tear. Like for example, tires on a car. The, the traction is gonna wear out because of how much it's being used. Now, some people might say, what's the point of getting a controller like this? You know, what's the point? The point is that it'll help you improve your gaming. Now, if you're already a skilled gamer as it is, for example, with Call of Duty, then props to you. Great, you're doing great. But if you want to take it a step further to improve your gameplay, a scuff is where it helps. Now, as I explained earlier, you get to keep your thumbs on the joysticks. So instead of having to do a movement where, let's say if I'm shooting and I want to reload, I have to move my thumb off of the joystick onto the reload button. Compared to if I keep my thumbs on the joysticks, I have the paddles on the back, so I could just reload by moving these fingers here on the paddles. So it's a shortcut so I can keep moving and engaging my opponent on the game. So long story short, it's just gonna help you out in the long run. Now, is it really worth buying a controller like this? Is it really worth buying a scuff? Is it really worth it? That's that's honestly the number one question that you should even ask yourself if you're thinking about buying a controller. Is it worth you buying a controller? Yes and no. Yes, it's worth buying a controller if you're someone who constantly games a lot. If you're a gamer who gets on, on your Xbox or on your PS4 on the daily, and yes, you're better off buying a, a scuff, whether it's for the PS4 or the Xbox. That's how it'll be worth it. Why? Because you're constantly using it, you're getting your money's worth out of it, and everybody's happy. Now, it's not worth it if you're someone who gets on every three to four days or every once in a while, or if you're constantly busy with work, you have no time to get online with your friends or whatever, just for your own entertainment, then no, it's not worth buying a scuff controller. Why? Because it's expensive. You don't know if it's gonna break down on you within the first month, the first month and a half. You just don't know. So it's something that you really need to ask yourself. Do I need this controller? Is it really gonna be worth me buying this controller? Am I gonna be using it a lot often than I think? Am I not gonna use it as often as I think? So it's something very important to keep in mind. The reason why people will go to that extent saying, is it really worth it? 
simply because of the amount of money you put into the controller. Now, like I said earlier, I've gone through two controllers already for my Scuff Infinity. That's the Xbox one. I've already gone through two. First one broke. The second one just started wearing down, wasn't responsive, so I needed a new one. Why? Because I'm constantly using my Xbox. So that's the reason why I got it. The reason why I got a, a Scuff Impact, which is my very first one, is simply for the fact that I'm transitioning over to the PS4 for gameplay like Black Ops 4 and any of the other exclusives like God of War, The Last of Us 2. The point is, I have my own actual reasons of even owning one. Why? Because I know I'm going to be using it as often. It's just like a new pair of running shoes. If you're someone who's a runner, you need running shoes. You need good shoes. You need good shoes that are going to last you a long time. Shoes that you know are comfortable, that won't wear and tear your feet. So it's something like that. Even good tires for a car. You, you want to make sure you have good tires. Why? Because you know they're going to last you a long time and they're reliable. Same thing with the controller. Different concept, I know. One has to do with physical health. The other one has to do with a car, but you get the point. So at the end of the day, it's more of, is this controller really worth it? It all depends on whether or not you're going to use it enough for it to be worth. So that's pretty much it. I'm not really going to get into more detail about it. Uh, would I recommend getting a scuff controller? Yes. Why? Because it helps you out a lot. Basically, it lets you have shortcuts with the buttons. You don't have to move your thumbs as much. Your thumbs can just simply stay on the joystick and your other fingers can do the work on the paddles. You know, it's a huge help. Uh, they design different designs on the controllers. I have the regular uh, blue with the black on the back and on my scuff infinity for the Xbox, I have the black with the blue. So it's kind of like just a match. Why? Because I like blue. So you guys can go by it my room and my shirt. I just I just like blue, but that's just me. Point is, what I'm getting at is that they have a wide variety of things you can do. You know, if the controller doesn't wear for some reason, it still has the warranty of being able to send it back with it. I think within the first month, don't quote me on that, their policy might have changed, but that's that's pretty much it, you guys. So if you plan on buying a scuff controller or if you have an idea of buying a scuff controller, I would first look into it on how much it's gonna cost you, whether or not you wanna add different designs like, on whether or not you wanna add designs like the trigger hair stoppers that make the trigger go down halfway to make your reaction time quicker. You know, if you actually wanna have all four paddles, what colors you want, you know, if you want the extra grip on either side of the controller, it all comes into play. Whether or not you wanna add all those things, it's gonna depend on how much the controller is actually gonna end up costing. Now, if you want accessories to come with the controller, that's also another thing you need to keep in mind. If you wanna buy a warranty plan or how much you wanna pay for shipping, for it to get to your house. So many things you need to keep in mind for when you want to purchase one of these. So I would do research as much as I can, see if it fits it within my budget, you know, of whatever I'm paying for, whether it's a phone bill, car bills, you know, whatever. So it's very important to do your research first. And the other thing that you would want to keep in mind is the amount of time you're going to actually be using this controller. Because if you just buy it out of spite and you don't really use it, guess what? You just wasted a lot of money for no good reason. Also, you want to take very good care of these because they are not cheap. I'm telling you because the first one my first scuff broke you know it was a pain ordering a new one I had to wait for it to come in the mail you know it was a, it was a hassle now besides that it's just something you really need to keep in mind so it's simple things but the simplest things could be the most important things too so that's gonna be the video for today you guys thank you so much for watching if you guys enjoyed this video please give it a like now in the description I'll leave the link for the old video of when I did my first very first scuff unboxing I remember it was a huge moment for me I think it was like my first year in college I can't remember also I'm also gonna be leaving a link down below on the most recent video we have uploaded on the channel if you guys pay attention to the profile picture that we have on the channel we have a new design for the profile picture from our artist her name well, I'm not going to say her name out of respect and also for her privacy, but we called her Zelda. Why do we call her Zelda? Well, she's a huge fan of the game. She's a huge fan of the franchise. I really don't know why I never got into Zelda, but point is, shout out to you. You're a huge help. You're always welcome here on the channel. So that's going to be it, you guys. It's been Lobo, and I'll catch you in the next video. Later.